evening guys now if you've not seen the mist yet and you're gonna straighten out dad's picture uh, don't watch this because I want to talk about the end that's the part I want to I want to talk about it. But I liked it. I mean, I, a lot of my friends said, the, the guy who gave me the CD, the DVD said, you know, it, it really wasn't his cup of tea. But I kind of dug it. I liked the, the whole thing with, uh, you know, it started out with a hurricane, a tree comes down, you see the interaction between the main character and his neighbor next door. And then, uh, the tree also, a tree fell on his neighbor's car and they hadn't really gotten along, they had some sort of lawsuit going on because they were neighbors and some of and the guy's tree also fell on the main character's uh, boathouse, wrecked that. So anyway, he's going to give the neighbor, because they said they decided to just exchange insurances, that's what they're going to do. He's going to give that neighbor a ride in the town, they go into town, they end up in the supermarket with the man's younger son. And uh, as they're in there, there's this like, a religious zealot lady, and uh, you know she's just going on, and you know people are giving the people of the town are giving her the normal crap, you know, kind of just putting her off and saying, you know, just forget about it, because she's they don't know what's going on yet. Now this mist rolls in, right? They're seeing this mist. They saw the mist rolling in on the lake, or they they, they go back to the lake and you see this mist rolling down into the town and you see it it's it's you can't see out of the market and uh, these MPs show up to tell the military guys that are in the supermarket they got to come right now now three of them don't get out of the store in time right later on people are get out of it they're trying to get out of the store and it, there's like an octopus type of tentacles they go in the back of the store and they open up the garage door because they want to unplug the vent to start the generator, right, to get the lights back on. They open it up and it's big like octopus type, type of tentacle but kind of opens up and has teeth on it, grabs this kid and like sucks him through the door and like that's the first death. And then they go back into the soup park and they're trying to convince everybody there's something really bad outside and we shouldn't go out there. Well that evening, these bug type creatures, same kind of creatures that were kind of in the other two movies we're talking about, the store troopers and stuff, flying uh, in stand up with the big mouths and everything. They're, they're showing up and they're bashing on the windows. And the zealot woman is saying, This is the Lord come to claim us, can claim somebody and all that. So uh, they end up, the, the, the hero, the main character, he, he, him and his boy. Uh, he leaves his boy inside inside the store. And, you know, he's kind of falling for this girl. It's you know, he's trying to get back to his wife to begin with. So, cut to the chase. They get it, it, there's an awful lot of infighting going on. The people are breaking off. They're starting to believe the zealot woman because like one of these bugs lands on her chest, crawls up to her face, and then she just says, "Go ahead, Lord, take me now." And the bug flies away. Right, big ugly uh, bug, and uh, they decide. Well, the only way we're going to get out of here is if we make it to the the guy who has like a Land Rover or something like that, right? And they get away. So there's an awful lot. They take the kid and these three adults, the one, the woman that he's he likes, and uh, they go back to the house and they can't find the wife or anything. And but then they're bugging out of town, right? And uh, all the time they've got this handgun. And uh, this here comes the end, man. What what I don't kind of confused me, and I talked to my, you know, it's a, a Stephen King book, and my brother thinks it's because Stephen King had the rights on it and said you have to put my ending in it or you can't do the movie, right? Or they wouldn't have done it because everyone likes a happy ending. The guy. Uh, they see one of these huge monsters go by, the one with the tentacles and everything. He goes by, and uh, they say, "Oh, this is this is the end. We're, the mist is still here." He ends up. He, there's just enough bullets to kill everybody in the car, and he doesn't have a bullet for himself. He gets out of the car, right? He's standing there, and 
it, it hears a thunderous roaring coming towards the kind of roaring you hear when there's a big bug coming, right? Big monster coming. But it turn it's an it's an army tank, and there's like the, all these guys with flamethrowers and tanks, and they're just killing monsters left and right, and you know it's all over. And here's this guy. He's just killed his son and the other three people in the car, and it ends with him on his knees screaming at the at the at the sky. Why? why? And that, that's you know the, the story. And it's called the mist. And uh, if you like that kind of sci-fi stuff, I'm going to recommend it. You know because it was good. But uh, hopefully you've already seen it. I'm sure Forrest has already seen it. And. Uh, Hey, I'll thank you for your participation, and uh, maybe tomorrow I won't fall asleep during, uh, uh, oh, what was it, it was uh, Jack Nicholson and uh, the other fellow, oh, whatever, the bu oh, uh, Bucket List, well, maybe I'll get to watch that tomorrow, seems like every time I sit on the couch now to watch a movie, I'm, Fall asleep about a half hour. Right? Maybe it's because I'm going, you know, I'm going to bed at, at uh, ten o'clock, getting up at four o'clock, and, and I lay in bed and watch TV till like eleven, and get up at four. But maybe I'm not getting enough sleep at night. But I better get my sleep scored away before I go back to work on September fourth. So again, I will thank you all for your participation, and I will see you back on the tube.